Last night at 11, News for Jack consumer investigator Lauren Verno took an in-depth look at some of your concerns about the COVID vaccine. Is it really safe? We are continuing that conversation this morning since we know many of you have questions about the vaccine. Dr. Elizabeth Ransom from Baptist Health joins us this morning to answer more of those questions. Doctor, good morning. Always great to have you on the show. Good morning. Thank you. Good to be here. So we have been hearing about this variant that started in the United Kingdom and has spread here to the United States. In fact, Florida has the most reports of, of this in our state. How do we know for certain that the vaccines that are currently on the market will protect us from the variant? Well, that's a great question. So currently the UK variant, which uh, is, as you mentioned, becoming more prevalent in the US, um, the main risk associated with that particular variant is that it seems to be much more highly transmissible uh, than the, the current uh, virus that's out there. It does not, however, seem to be um, a cause for worse or, or greater risk of um, significant disease or death. There have been some preliminary studies that have looked at the vaccine's effectiveness against the UK variant. And it does seem that both the Pfizer and the, the Moderna vaccines do seem to be um, effective against that variant. There are other variants, the South Africa variant, there's now a, a Brazilian variant as well. Um, and, and the question is if, if the virus is as effective against those um, variants as well. Yeah, if the vaccine is, and that's just a matter of kind of yeah, waiting to, to, to see. Uh, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about side effects. And, and I'm not asking these first two questions that I've asked because I'm trying to talk people out of getting the vaccine, by the way. But these are the questions we're getting here at the station, and I feel like they do need to be addressed. So, so in terms of side effects, um, I've actually had uh, family members as well as neighbors who've, who've been vaccinated because of their age, their over 65, who have actually gotten sick. Um, you know, one woman told me that she was vomiting after the second, uh, you know, for, for a couple of hours after the second vaccine, receiving the shot, and then others who've described kind of mild flu-like symptoms. Is, is that common? Should people who get the vaccine expect that? Uh Quite a few people do get symptoms um, after the vaccination. Generally, the uh, symptoms seem to be worse after the second dose, um, but some of those symptoms can be pain at the injection site, swelling, um, also fatigue, headaches, uh, chills, and sometimes um, people will even get fevers. Generally, the, the symptoms are self-limited and are usually gone within a few days. So given that, for anyone who is on the fence about getting the vaccine and they hear something like that, how do you convince them that it's important to still be vaccinated? It's really important. Um, those symptoms are really a sign of your immune system uh, kicking into gear. Um, and it's much better to get symptoms related to the vaccine than it is to actually get symptoms from the coronavirus or COVID. So we know that Johnson & Johnson's vaccine is expected to ask, base, well, the company is expected to ask for approval from the FDA for its vaccine by the end of the month. You've got Pfizer, you've got Moderna, you've got Johnson & Johnson. Do we know what the difference is between the Johnson & Johnson and the other two on the market? Because some people, you know, you wonder if they're going to start shopping around to get the, the, the one that they feel maybe is the most effective. Well, I, I think um, the efficacy certainly for Pfizer and Moderna are excellent. Um, mid 90s, 94, 95% effective. Um, Johnson & Johnson uh, also looks to be quite effective, um, although we don't have the, the definitive uh, number for that yet. Frankly, um, if there's an availability to get a vaccine, um, we all should take that opportunity to get the vaccine, whatever is, is first available, because it's really important, particularly with some of these new, more highly transmissible strains, uh, it's important to, to get that protection as soon as possible. Dr. Elizabeth Ransom from Baptist Health, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.